Did you know you can extract text from an image using AI? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. But before I do continue, please like, subscribe and share. So what I've got opened up here is my Google Chrome browser in Windows 10, but this works exactly the same in Windows 11 as well. And I've got Claude.ai. So if you go to Claude.ai, this is an AI tool I use all the time. But I'm also going to show you in this video how to extract text from an image on ChatGPT here, which I've also got opened in a different tab in the same browser. So I'm going to flip over back to Claude AI, and what I'm going to do is show you the image file where I'm going to um, extract the text from. So this is the image file here. So this image file shows the fact file for computers. All I want to do uh, for the purpose of this video is extract the text here and extract the text here as well. So I can put that into a Word document and I guess redesign it, adjust it, amend it, customize it and to try and make it my own. So I'm going to flip over back to my Google Chrome browser here, Claude AI, and you can see here a search bar. So this is where you start writing or asking AI to do things. So you start asking it questions. But also, if you go scroll to the right side, you can see this paperclip option here. This is where you're going to upload that image file to. So I'm going to click on upload here and I've saved it on my desktop. So you can see at the top, RA Solutions fact file, click on it and it shows a preview here of that fact file image. Click on open and it should attach that image at the top there like this. Now here it's asked you a question what can I help you with so here what I'm going to do is simply ask it to extract the text from the file so extract the text from the attached image and I'm going to put some more information in there into So I structure it into specific sections. So it's easier for me then to, to copy and paste it into Word. So click on this arrow here. And what it's doing now, it's going through the process, checking the image, and there you go. It's very quickly extracted the text from the image like this, exactly how you see it um, in the image there. So you can cross-reference, so to enable your proofreading, so once it's done that, I'm going to flip over here and move this across to the side to check whether in fact it is the correct information I need. So there you have it very quickly. Um, I'm guessing that's correct, but you can check it in your own time. Now, the other good thing about Claude AI, now it's extracted the text. You can copy it here and you can paste it, the information. Now it's on my clipboard into Word. So if I go into Word, do a search for Word like that, um, Word will open up and then I what I can do um, is extract that image into Word. So my copy of Word is opening up as we speak. Double click here to, to open a blank document um, and then I can right click and paste the information in there very quickly, um, saving you a lot of time in 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 your work i guess in your you know saving your time in your daily lives as well to be fair and you, this is an effective use of ai i'm going to flip over now to chat gpt i'm going to do exactly the same so here this is the interface for chat gpt at the bottom slightly different to claude it's got the prompt there which you can um, ask it questions through I click on the paperclip icon on the left same principle applies, go to my desktop, find the file again here, click on open. It's attaching the file there and I'm going to ask, ask it the same prompt. very similar prompt to the earlier one. Extract the text from the attached image, structure the information into specific sections. Click on the arrow here and it will go through, check the image and hopefully it will provide a 
very similar information um, to to the other one now what chat GPT has done is taken it a step further um, than than Claude you can see it's slightly different to Claude here where it's put its own spin based on my prompt so I can change the the prompt even more extract the text from the image exactly um, as it as it is seen in the image or something like that okay so let's see now see what it does there you go so exactly how you see the information on the image is extracting the text so that's exactly what we need so you need to be very careful your the prompt you use the questions you ask AI really do matter in terms of what output you get so that's a very quick and easy video now you're probably thinking to yourself actually does this work with just images or can I extract information from PDF files which are normally read only as well and the answer is yes but you need to try this for yourself see how you can utilize AI to to allow you to save time and to ensure your pro productivity increases and you're making the best use of your time I hope that really helps you please like subscribe and share